In a backscatter electron image, such as this one, the CIs look quite similar to corn rules. Now down here, for example, is a corn rule, this is a corn rule. So these are all corn rules, and the CI over here looks at, well, first sight at least, quite similar to these corn rules. However, the CIs have a much more irregular outline, and this is quite characteristic for CIs, as well as this one here, which is also uh, very irregular. Now, CIs can be larger than chondrules, smaller than chondrules. They are sometimes, on average, a little bit larger, um, depends on the type of chondrite. However, the irregular outline is something that is quite distinctive from chondrules. Now, here is a very nice example of such an irregular CI, and the irregular outline is used as one first um, evidence for condensation of the CIs directly from the gas within the protoplanetary disk. Now, the CIs, of course, contain calcium aluminum rich minerals. And the CIs often have one further additional um, distinctive characteristic, and this is this kind of zonation here towards the rim. So there, there are different Sorry, there are different zones. And the minerals along these zones change according to the condensation sequence that is shown in this left diagram here, from something like corundum is quite rare, but something like hibonite, perovskite, gilinite towards gilinite, spinel, acumanite, sometimes maybe even calcium-rich diopside at the outermost layer of these CIs. And this has been first described by uh, Walk and Lovering in 1977. Lovering, and this is why these rims are called Walk Lovering rims. And these are taken as evidence, clear evidence, that con CI is formed by condensation from a solar, within a solar gas. And the second one is the irregular outline. However, as uh, you already peaked here, there are CIs that are roundish, they look like corn rules, so this one here is maybe something like 200 micrometers in diameter, they can have some skeletal minerals within others, uh, indicative of very fast cooling. And these CIs likely formed together with the corn rules, so if there's corn rule formation, maybe something like 2 million years after T0, which is actually the CI formation, and some of the CIs have been reprocessed during chondral formation, and this is why they also look like chondrules. However, most of the um, CIs are more the, of this irregular type. Now, the mineralogy of the CIs can also be used for a classification scheme. So there are various classification schemes, also something like um, earth elements, but one is, which I want to show here, according to their minerals. Now up here is melilite, which is um, calcium, sodium, twice, and then magnesium, aluminum, and then silicon, twice, oxygen, seven. Down here is an aluminum-rich pyroxene, which is called fasside, and here's all the remaining minerals. And then there are three types of CIs, which are A, B, and C, and A plots around up here, B around in the middle of this ternary diagram, and C down here with more of the remaining minerals. And this is an often used classification. An additional classification is that they are fine-grained CIs, um, FG, then there's something like, of course, coarse-grained CIs, then there is something like compact CIs. There are really a lots of um, classifications and discriminations among the CIs because these are really a very diverse group of components. So this is how CIs look like, how they formed by condensation, and one uh, means of classifying the CIs in various types.